It's the Ripping Cup up next. Listed race over two mile four furlongs and Paul Rhodes has sent Mr. Yates, the Ascot Gold Cup winner here and it is going to go off the favourite, uh, you would think. Uh, broken promise, Ryan Tamasebi, a winner last week and two-time winner this season. Arthur's pass here for Craig Allen. Cova Mio for John uh, debutant, Dragon Keeper Leon Van Rensburg, Everlast Joshua Sutherland, Illustrated Craig Beckwith, Marco Van Basten for Satyam, Prometheus Leon Van Rensburg, Walk the Line, Ryan Tamasebi, Kuiping East Vinnie Gerard, Royal Blue Martin Leadham, Spartak Philly and Tigava for Graham Clutterbuck. Glorious views of Ripon Racecourse here as we head to the stalls and see all the riders ready to go here in the Ripon Cup. Nope, we're going to get more of a tour of Ripon Racecourse. Yes, we get it. It's beautiful. The sun is out. Nice blue skies. Nice blue lakes. Can we start the Ripon Cup, please? Packed stands you can see here for this feature race. Here we go. They are off and running. And a nice quick break from Spartak Philly. A dragon keeper over on the far side. Uh, towards the near side, we've got Marco Van Basten on the rail. The grey horse and cover Mio. Uh, it's a Jim Murray newcomer uh, into the league halfway through the season and what a surprise, it likes to run from the front so Jim Murray with another front runner here but uh, that one's going to be tackled for this early lead by Tagava who has kicked on and gone a couple of lengths clear Mr Yates, the Ascot Gold Cup winner, going to try and carry the weight penalty here to add another feature race uh, to his prize haul this season a really impressive winner of the Ascot Gold Cup actually walk the line uh, towards the centre of the track just and pass by Everlast there that one was the winner of the Queen Alexandra uh, so the kind of the stayers for bridesmaids really um, they'll have to improve leaps and bounds to be able to beat Mr Yates in a race like this but Broken Promise uh, the stable mate of that one just moving forward into third place was a good winner last time out and probably a bigger threat over the two mile four furlong trip uh, looking towards the rear of the field at the moment, the familiar back-marking posse of uh, one of Vinnie Gerrard's runners. That one's going to come late in the day and has some pretty good form on offer. Arthur's pass for Craig Allen, just racing over furthest of all in the middle of the track in the green and gold hoops. Spartak Philly, uh, the black horse over towards the rail. That's another one from Graham Clutterbuck's stable, but it is his other runner, Tigava that still leads the way as we pass the stands and pass what will be the winning post in the circuit's time. And all those fans cheering on their horses, but you can imagine things will chop and change over the next 12 and a half furlongs or so as they start to turn right-handed and move away from the packed crowds as we get a good view of how spread out those horses are already. It's got to be a good 20 lengths or so from Tagava towards uh, Kaiping East at the very rear of the field. As we see that panned out view of them swinging around this tight right-handed bend here at Ripon, it's Tagava that has a lead. A slightly reduced advantage now, but still a few lengths advantage over Everlast that has just moved forward into a share of second alongside the grey cover, me cover Mio. Marco Van Basten, the other grey horse in the race, is making some progress up uh, the rail. And Mr Yates travelling really strongly still in about fourth or fifth place for Paul Rhodes at the moment. Walk the line is up on the outside of that one and then there's a gap of a length to the stable mate of that one broken promise is over towards the rail prometheus and dragon keeper the two leon van rensburg runners racing side by side and ahead of arthur's pass spartak philly illustrated not been mentioned so far that one's racing towards the rear of the field craig beckwith's runner hugging the rail and then we have royal blue for martin leadham and, and a gap of a good three or four lengths to kaibing east that is being ridden very patiently and just watching things unfold from the very rear of the field but needs to be careful not to become too far detached from these runners so tagava the lead is now down to half a length at most over walk the line which is making some steady progress on the outside he's got mr yates challenging it up the inner prometheus traveling really well just in behind them and that one is about to move forward and we've almost got a four-way share of the lead but it's mr yates now the ascot gold cup winner that uses his inside position on the track as we start swinging right-handed to move into a lead as we hit the five furlong marker mr yates hits the front and travels really strongly walk the line on the outside to go 
Darvers now being passed by Prometheus as well. Cover Mio getting to work just in behind those. Broken Promise is going to try and uh, make the most of that room that it has up the racing rail. Arthur's Pass making some progress on the outside and Illustrated and Marco Van Basten are trying to get going from the rear of the field. Dragon Keeper's not got going yet but will need to soon. Everlast also trying to make some progress for Joshua Sutherland in the final three furlongs. We've got Arthur's Pass and Walk the Line now. Challenging one another for the lead. Prometheus hard at work just in behind those. Response hasn't been immediate. Mr. Yates after being passed has now started a battle back up the rail but has that weight to carry. It's going to have to be a champion horse to battle past some of these proven stayers as well to add another prize. M Arthur's Pass. Mr. Yates is now coming up alongside that one. We've only got one furlong left to go and it is Mr. Yates that has now gone into the lead. Arthur's Pass trying to battle back. Illustrated. Walk the line. Prometheus trying to get going but it's going to come from the front pair the winner Mr. Yates Arthur's pass it's going to be close as they hit the line but Mr. Yates has the class Mr. Yates has the class to beat off Arthur's pass and wins the Ripon Cup here really good performance what a champion stayer we've seen here today really good runner Mr. Yates wins it from Arthur's pass in second place Illustrated stayed on really well for third and Cover Mio got fourth Their confirmation of that Yep, Mr. Yates wins it from Arthur's Pass, half a length back in second. Illustrated, a good run, really stayed on well in the third. Cover Mio, fourth on debut for John, really good runner there. Sorry, I said a Jim Murray at the beginning, and it wasn't Jim Murray, it was John's horse, apologies for that. And Prometheus, fifth for Leon Van Rensburg.